In this week's episode, the world's first nanofish, South Africa's rhino poaching stats released, a surprising giraffe discovery, rescuers rush to save a trapped mola mola, and false killer whales on the hunt. Starting off with some good news for whales. Nine out of the 14 known populations of humpbacks have been delisted from the Endangered Species Act. The marine mammals were hunted to the brink of extinction and have been listed since the act was signed in 1973. To ensure that their numbers don't plummet again, the animals will still be protected from things like harassment, hunting, and collection. On to Nepal, where a rare one-horned rhino has died after being shot by poachers. The animal was found in a forest and rushed to Chitwan National Park for treatment, but unfortunately succumbed to its injuries. The incident marks Nepal's first rhino poaching death in over two years. Staying with rhinos, South Africa has just released its rhino poaching stats, reporting a downward trend in poaching nationwide. So far this year, a total of 702 rhinos have been poached. Between January and the end of August, the carcasses of 458 poached rhinos were found in Kruger National Park, the country's biggest wildlife reserve, down about 18% from the same period last year. And scientists have discovered that the giraffe is actually four separate species. The animals were previously recognized as only a single species made up of several subspecies. But through DNA analysis, it has been revealed that the genetic differences among the species are as varied as those between polar bears and brown bears. Off to South Africa with a risky rescue mission. When a huge ocean sunfish became trapped in a dry dock, a team of volunteers and staff from the Two Oceans Aquarium in Cape Town rushed to save the struggling creature. The Moa Moa measured in at over six feet and it took some impressive problem solving and people power to carry the animal to safety and release it into open water. What can count better than a one-year-old human? A cuttlefish. And the cephalopods also seem to prefer quality over quantity when it comes to food. When researchers presented cuttlefish with a different number of live shrimp, the cephalopods preferred the larger quantities, suggesting they had number sense. And scientists have created the world's first nanofish, which can be used to carry drugs to specific sites of the body. Inspired by the swimming style of a real fish, the device is 100 times smaller than a grain of sand and constructed out of gold and nickel segments linked by silver hinges. Rounding off with this amazing underwater sighting. Filmed off the coast of Hawaii, the rare footage shows a group of false killer whales teaming up to hunt a mahi-mahi. That's it for today. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.